they're outsiders now. Meghan and Harry haven't kept relationship going with UK. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are now outsiders who were sidelined at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, a royal reporter has claimed. Annalise Nielsen, Sky News Australia foreign correspondent, spoke of how Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had been completely separated from the senior royals during the Jubilee celebrations. She claimed they have not kept the relationship going in the UK and that despite having every potential to play a more significant role in the Jubilee, they were instead seen only on the periphery. Ms Nielsen said, this is just a very good example of how they haven't kept the relationship going in the United Kingdom. But they had every potential to play a more significant part in the Jubilee weekend but they really were sidelined. We only saw them briefly at Trooping the Colour, in that long grainy photo with their very junior cousins, and then at the service of Thanksgiving where they were completely separated from all the senior royals. That 20 minutes where they had to sit and wait for Kate and Wills, and Prince Charles and Camilla, really put into focus just where they sit in the world. They are outsiders. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle attended events for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee sparingly across the four-day weekend. They also pulled out of a Guildhall reception following their only official event at St. Paul's, opting instead to return to Frogmore Cottage. Lady Colin Campbell claimed the couple had left because they were worried about only being third-tier royals. Speaking to GB News, she claimed, they are worried their brand has been irretrievably damaged by the fact the whole world knows that they have only third-tier roles. Their youngest child, Lilibet, turned one on the Saturday of the Jubilee weekend. Her birthday sparked speculation that the Queen could meet her great-grandchild, named after her, on the day she turned one. And those rumors proved true as the first photo of Lilibet was released on Monday, with her pictured in Windsor Castle. Wearing a pale blue dress and a white lace band, Lilibet showed off six baby teeth smiling in the same residency as the monarch. A spokesman said the Sussexes were incredibly touched by the countless birthday wishes for their daughter. They revealed that friends and family gathered for a casual, intimate backyard picnic at Frogmore Cottage to mark their daughter's big day. They reportedly stayed at Windsor Castle with the Queen that night, watching the party at the palace together. However, it is believed the family then flew back to the U.S. on Sunday during the last day of celebrations. Wearing a pale blue dress and a white lace band, Lilibet showed off six baby teeth smiling in the same residency as the monarch. 
A spokesman said the Sussexes were incredibly touched by the countless birthday wishes for their daughter. They revealed that friends and family gathered for a casual, intimate backyard picnic at Frogmore Cottage to mark their daughter's big day. They reportedly stayed at Windsor Castle with the Queen that night, watching the party at the palace together. However, it is believed the family then flew back to the US on Sunday during the last day of celebrations.